everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So we pulled off a couple of missions uh, last time. One was a failure ambush mission against the clans, and the second one was a success, which was good. We picked up a few nice things, um, but we took a major hit on the Wolverine. We lost a ton of stuff. Um, it's we've got one more day before it's back, and we can start repairing it. But in order to be able to do that, we're going to need to generate some some uh, sea bills here. So we jump systems to Ritterkirk. It was, only, it was only 10 days away. Um, it's a desert planet. But we've got a few missions here that we can take. I think these four here are all against non-clan targets. Which I think our, our main lands can do without a problem. And our secondary lands can probably do this one. And then we do have a hostile insertion one here. Which is a heavy lance of clan mechs. So I'm thinking before we move in and take this guy on. I think we want to get our Wolverine back and get, a, get it up and punchier than what it is right now. So um, we're going to take on a heavy one here today. Uh, four Skull, we're going to take the Witness Protection one. It is an escort mission, so it'll be a little longer. Main Lance, Four Skulls. So we're going to do this. And I think we're probably going to go this route here. Get some half-decent sea bills off this and some good salvage. So let's accept this. And we'll go with this uh, Lance as we got it right here. Um, and deploy and get this sucker done. All right, here we go. Move up and provide support. No problem. All right, so we got to go... Oh, yeah, I know this one really well. So uh, we move up here, take on a lance here. The escort moves up this way. There might be another lance that drops in. Maybe some guys from here or over here. Once we get to the uh, the bay up here, the lo or the launching pad... Um, the vehicles move up here, and then we have another lance. Guy shows up up here, a bunch of guys over here. And we just deal this and get it done. So let's just move up. up see what we're up against. Not going to go too far forward. Maybe into here. Oh, I don't see anybody at the beginning here. Standing by. Maybe that's a really good thing. Yep. All right, full speed. Commander? All right. That's probably, in a way, for salvage, I think that's going to be better. Because the more guys that are here, the lighter their tonnage will be. Good to go. So the less guys that are here, obviously the heavier the tonnage will be for the next... Uh, Got it. No shooting. For the next... Um, Reinforcements. Waiting for orders. All right, let's get keep going up here. Full Thank goodness, the our heavy mechs are relatively fast. So one thing I don't like about these waiting missions is orders. having to wait like forever to get to where you need to go. All right, you just sit here for a second. I hope the VIP wasn't in that building, buddy. I'm ready. Are you? Are you sure? Acknowledge. Yes, Commander. Full throttle. So I don't know. I'm I'm considering making re recall the commander of the second lance. It would it would mean dem demoting Raider, but um, since he's now in the second lance, yes, well, Commander. you know what. We can probably bring them back. Uh, let's, let's leave you here. We can probably bring them back, I guess. I just like having that the second uh, or the warlord ability for the warhammer. I'm here. But I guess we don't necessarily need it. Oh wow, you can't get all the way across, eh? Let's just get up here. I don't think I'll be able to get all the way across either. Oh yeah, I can. Marginally faster, I guess. All right, pylon. Uh, let's just reserve. Let's just see how far everybody else gets up ahead here. Um, Hickory. Yep. Let's get in the trees. Copy that. Thank you. And Riddler, how far can you get up here? That's actually pretty good. I think we can activate now. Orders. 
All right, pylon, let's get right to here. He's moving to position. Hurry this mission along a little bit. Let's get it right up into here. All right, we're ready for him. I've got eyes on hostile readers. So do I. They're heading your way. Oh, shit. That's a Marauder 2 up there. Ugh, crap. Boombox. Of course. What, what else would it be? Uh, what do we got here? A Misery. So that's the Stalker variant. King Crab. Ah, yeah, looked like a uh, Marauder 2 from back here. A couple of AC-20s. Well, isn't that interesting? And a Shrek PPC carrier. Because why not? Okay, well, I guess the first target. Waiting for orders. I think I'm going to send Pylon across the river. Or across the, the lake here. I think that's what we have to do. What do you need? Well, what I need is a bottle of vodka right about now. Um, we're going to take out the Shrek. Nicely done. Okay, one last thing to worry about. I have to move in the Zeus now to engage that um, King Crab. Now you need to move as far as you can, I think. Nope, but we got to see the uh, Stalker because you have to engage the Stalker. The wind. Stop saying things like that, man. Uh, yeah, we got a good chance. Let's confirm this. Go after this guy and fire. Enjoy. No, 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 don't go after that guy. Go after the stalker. Okay, thank goodness for the miss on that. He's turning his torso. All right. Much as it's going to pay me to do. Got to engage this king crab. He hasn't moved yet. If I had more testicles, I would probably do an offensive push and try for a headshot. But we're just going to fire straight out. We want to do some damage on this guy. Nice. Nicely done. Stripping a little bit of armor. Okay. Of course. I can't hit him in the head, but he sure as hell can hit me in the head. That was an arm hit, I gotta say, with the AC. Yeah. Strip some good armor off the torso, though. With the missile hits. Wow. Oh, you don't have steppable range yet, eh? This guy's got boomstick, fluid gun, and tagger, and a ton of armor. Um, let's get into here. We gotta deal with this guy, too. So let's just dump everything on this guy. Oh, the wrecking balls are close enough, eh? Nice. Okay, so we got everybody engaged now. I shot with the tag, buddy. Good luck. Alright, so I think the Arrow 4 system is going to go against the King Crab this turn. We're going to let 
Riddler crossed the lake this way, I think. He's gonna have to. De he's gonna be dedicated to taking the stalker out. So we're dumping everything on the stalker. Now that it's in the water, it's gonna have a really short movement. Nice. And we'll use hickory and um, cold metal to deal with the uh, king crab. Um, I think we need to stay back though. Still got really great chances to hit. Gonna go with Warlord. Deal some damage to this guy, please. Yeah. Nice hit. Sure was. Okay, I think Boombox is steppable now. One of their vehicles didn't move, I guess. Well, he's got, uh, he's pilot. How stable is he going to remain? Well, not that stable. All right. Just want to worry about making it through this. So let's take this arm. Okay, just want to make sure we don't have that AC-20 to worry about now. Still fascinated with me, huh? That's fine. I got the most armor, so I guess that's okay. What's up, boss? This guy's in steppable distance now. Putting my weight into it. Can't do as much as the Wolverine can, but or could. Oh, but still, nicely done. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Yeah, shoot him in the head. Do you knock him down? There it is. So that's two wounds now. Oh, he's got one left. Oh, <gasps> he's got more wounds on him than I thought. Yep. Okay, Hickory, we're just gonna move up here. Hopefully, this vehicle starts moving again. We're gonna just fire straight on this guy. Ha 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 ha! Come on, hit him in the head. Yes, nice. Thank you for maximizing salvage for me. I'm your spaniel. Although I don't think we have any king crab pieces. Moving to position. If we do, maybe we just have one. Dumping everything into this guy now. That's it for you, buddy. Thanks for showing up. Oh, come on. Go for the head. Okay, he's dead. Alright, wasn't so bad. Just gonna move over here for now. Make sure those vehicles keep moving up. And we'll just reserve. I want to see where the vehicles go first. Actually, yeah. Hickory, let's move up here a little bit. Let's move. Okay. Um, Ready for orders. It hurts that I know these this mission. Like I said, I wish they would just when they, they I know they've got the missions planned out and stuff, but and for these missions especially, 
it's kind of random where the uh, um, which reinforcements will come in where and when um, but they should really randomize the locations like more for where they come in because this it makes this so predictable now right like once you've played it once you know where the enemy is going to be Okay, you don't really need to be anywhere but down here, but that's fine. Okay, pylon. Let's give these guys a fair shot. Um, the one thing we have to worry about, this particular mission has given me issues in the past where if you attack the, the mech that comes out from here um, before he has a chance to move the mission goes into a spin lock I'm not exactly sure why that is but it's happened several times to me so standing by confirmed holding all right hickory And Riddler. It's just faster for these guys to go up this way. We can start sprinting you up here. Okay, one more turn. And we're in action here. I need you to get as close up here as possible, please. You'll be able to shoot over here anyway, so that would be just fine. I will be done. No shooting, just running. All right. Let's see what happens here. Hold this position. I got a sensor trace here. The package will be on its way soon. Okay, it looked like uh what are these guys? A Zeus X, Griffin? Okay, cool. What's this guy? Trippuchet. Uh before we start this, because I've been spin locked before, we're gonna save this right here. Confirm. I've had too many crashes in the past couple of days. Not in this particular version of Rogue Tech. Um, this version is actually pretty stable, but um, in the other version I've had too many crashes, so just want to take precautions here, just in case a spin lock. I can always come back. Yeah. Now this is the trebuchet. So now we should be able to target him with no problem. Turned his back to the Zeus though. Vindicator! Hey, we need Vindicator parts. Would have been nice like several missions ago though. I'm walking here. Alright, who do we want to shoot? The Zeus? Be nice to have a second Zeus. Vindicator. This guy. Could try and leg him. Hmm. Trebuchet is pretty much the best. Let's multi target. You. Let's see if we can make you unstable. And we're going to put the these guys on B. And just fire. Engaging. Multiple targets. Ah, not bad. That's right, buddy. Keep squeezing that trigger on the lasers. Okay. Add a bit more instability on that guy. Yep. If I didn't want the Zeus, you know who'd be getting these missiles. I think. Uh, 
Ah, uh, tough question. Let's multi-target. We're gonna put the Thunderbolt on B, arrow on A. Here we go. Yeah. So just so you, I just actually figured this out. If you hit the space bar when missiles are flying, it actually speeds up the trajectory, the uh, speed of the missiles. <laughs> I just realized that. I'm sure everybody already knows that, but I'm like, hey, that's great. All right, Zeusy Goosey. Gonna see if we can maximize some salvage off this guy. I think we have one Zeus X part. I know we've got like six Vindicator parts. Okay, he's got the LBX AC-20. Feel a little better. The MRM-30 is kind of shitty, but the LBX is, is pretty good. He's got tons of armor, though. Not that I'm worried about that, but... Let's just walk it up. No point in running at this point. And we're going to multi-target. Actually, is this guy unstable? No, he's not. Um, we can make him that way, though. Which would force him to move first next turn. So let's multi target. LRMs to B, everything else to A. I miss with the AC. Wow. Here it comes. Oh, our ally didn't move. Okay, at least the PPC missed. This guy didn't move. Or maybe he did. Maybe I'm just, like, don't remember. Which is highly po probable. Receiving you. That's what happens when you have sleep deprivation. All right. Uh, Vindicator. Yes. Affirmative. Targeting for physical attack. Come on. Ah. Where are you going? We just got started. Don't you want to play? He's running away. He's fleeing the interview. Do you guys know where that's from, fleeing the interview? I'm assuming you do. Alright, here they come. Nice. He's going down. Got past, Got past the armor, he blew his whole freaking leg off. Alright, what's this guy doing? He's gonna melee. Of course he is. No. Oh, you sneaky little bugger, you. He's Trixie. Just trying to complete his mission. Can't blame him. All right, let's get out of the way of that Zeus. Uh, we're gonna sprint it over here. Can't get both. It's one or the other here. Um. Too much. That's not bad. Heading out. Full speed. That's not bad angling. That should probably do it, I think. Oh yeah. I think that was probably good enough. Farewell, sweet prince. <laughs> Although I loved I love Riddler's comments, so it would be a shame to lose him in this lance. Although, I'm kind of missing the, uh... Bustana! I think he's saying busting out. I don't know. Oh! Jeez, you got some speed, eh, buddy? Um... 
Yeah, man. You do you. And I'll do in your friends here. Let's finish this guy up. How you doing? Welcome to the party. Ouch. Good to go. Um What do we want to do here? Want to save that Zeus, I think. We want to try and max salvage off him. I'm 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 thinking that's probably the best way to go. We don't really need a Vindicator. Although, I mean, we could sell it, but I mean, do we really need a Vindicator? Eh. Once we have our Cattle Master Lance, I mean, we don't really need much. I mean, those guys are going to kick ass. Yeah. Let's multi target this out. This guy and this guy. I'm not even going to look at how much. Uh, these guys have and just fire this way. Negative. Uh, wait a minute. That missed, but he took a head hit? What? I don't even understand that. He's... I, I don't... Okay. Sure. Commander? Sure, man. Whatever you say. I'm going. Alright. So, let's multi. And... Put it up like that. Splitting fire on multiple targets. You get half my rounds. And you get half my rounds. Hope we can salvage that. Okay, I don't even know how that guy got piloting capacity. I guess we must have hit him in the head. There's a parting shot for you, Zeus. All right, now we're looking for head hits. Yeah, the MRM-30 looks dangerous, but the fact that it's got minus one accuracy, and I, I don't think you can use the uh, Artemis system with it, it's just really useless. I mean, not useless, but far more difficult to actually get what you want done with it. So, and a vigilance here. This one a vigilance because I want everyone to go before this guy again next turn. Objective secured. See ya. Nice hanging out with you. Yes, Commander. Nope, not from the back, from the side. There we go. Position confirmed. Engaging. Okay. Just looking for the uh yeah, that's what we were looking for. Uh Hickory. I'm gonna go after the leg. Or we could just hit as far away from the leg as possible. <laughs> which just seems to be... Oh, we got a pilot injury, though. Which is completely ignored. That's fine. You do you. 
All right, we're definitely going to have to do some heavy hits here. So we're going to look for legs. Uh, splash is not good for legs. Let's take those off. And... Yeah. See if we can take this leg. Lots on target. Oh, darn, not bad. Not bad. Okay, offensive push. This guy. We're going to fire everything. We're going to go against this leg. Including the AC-20. I know splash is not good for leg damage, but I was hoping to hit the other leg too. Did we? We did. Yeah. I think the only way we're going to maximize salvage off this guy is to take both of his legs. We're not going to get him on knockouts, I don't think, or on knockdowns. Huh. Okay. What's up, boss? Let's go this way. Kick him in the head. Ah. Okay. Ah. What do you need? Let's try it. Nicely shot. I think out of everybody, she's the accurate, most most accurate of everybody. See, that's two injury ignores now. Don't even move. You don't even need to. I'm gonna shoot this leg, please. Fire it. That didn't look like the leg to me. Damn it, you! Enemy down. I guess he just wanted to go home. Yeah, you spend a lot of time getting in there and then some turkey goes and ruins it for you. Alright, 20% increase in pay, which is good. We made some good coin off this one. Uh, no significant damage. We were able to take out all the main threats early. Okay, so... Look at all the parts here. Crazy. Trebuchet. I know we only have one of this type of Vindicator, but we have five of another one. So we could take a Vindicator. Um, don't need any more boomsticks, don't need the Gauss Rifle, Composite, yeah, that's a nice big engine for cash, two million. Do we have any, yeah, we got tons of XL gyros, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, yeah, let's go down here, what else do we have? Reactive plating, kinetic resistance, but, yeah. Any specialty ammo? Ammo, AC-20 Precision. Let's make sure we take that. Take the Fusion Cores. And... That's 1.1. You know what, let's just take one Fusion Core. We I mean, might as well finish up that Griffin, what the heck. And let's confirm that. Or sorry, finish up the uh, Vindicator. So we got two two Griffin parts, one, two, three King Crab parts, nice. One Stalker part, three Vindicator parts, four Vindicator parts. See, I didn't even need to do that. All right, and not much else. All right, Vindicator double A, nice, Avenging Angel, eh? Restricted Activator lower right, eh. Thanks, buddy. And 43,000 repairs, which is nothing compared to what we made. All right, let's have a look at the, uh, uh, where are we here? Mech bays. Let's see what we got off that Vindicator. Probably not a whole lot. Um, let's refit. Yeah, I got the core. The gyro. Oh, uh, no, it is no gyro. 
I'm tired. Okay, so <laughs> let's strip everything off here. I'm just going to repair it. Six days, 94,000. It's nothing, so let's just do that. Alrighty. So we'll get that guy repaired and throw him in the storage for now. Don't think we'll use it, but we've got it. Um, I think the Phoenix Hawk is on its way out right now, too, because we've got the Wolverine. Um, it's going to be difficult finding um, parts for the... Uh, um, to, to get a... Uh, oh my god, I can't even think of what it is now. <laughs> Tired. Okay, it's going to be difficult finding parts for our Irby and um, Cattle Master uh, thing because right now the lowest mission we can take is a Two Skull. I don't think we're going to find Cattle Masters in Two Skull missions. So we may have to think of another uh, way to do this. So maybe it's not a Cattle Master. Maybe it ends up being the Commando or something as the Command Mech or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. Or the Flea. Uh, or the Firefly, I mean. Um, we'll figure something out. Um, but, uh, yeah, for now, maybe, well, maybe we make it a fire starter. I don't know, but, uh, we'll, we'll have to see how it goes. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's manage my tasks here really quick. Um, Vindicator can stay, you can stay where you are. Let's move these guys up like this for now. Sure. Um, so when we come back next time, we'll run the second lance. And we'll take on uh, one of the other lower contracts. Uh, I think we should be able to pull off. I think there's a destroy base mission or something we can do with that one. And we'll use the, the uh, secondary lance um, and get them going and see how it works out. But if you liked the video, please drop a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so and drop a comment in the comment section below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.